What's going on everybody, Reseller Rabbit here. It's currently minus one degrees with a minus 20 degree wind chill. And boy, is it windy. We're going thrifting today. We are in one of my favorite places in Wisconsin, Port Washington. There's a St. Vincent de Paul nearby. Let's go check it out. Apparently their internet is down, so it's cash only. Here we go, it's $4.99. And it's selling, actually I think blue is half off too. And it's selling for uh, 35 bucks on eBay. Here's a brand I remember seeing a lot of, Fitz and Floyd. Unfortunately, this one's only like 20 bucks. Just the one item. They were doing some work in there. Oh, where's the seatbelt? Replacing the lights, so a lot of the merchandise was like boxed up and shoved in the corner, so you couldn't see much. Um, but next is quite possibly my favorite thrift store in the entire country. So let's go. Goodwill in Grafton, Wisconsin. This would be good, but I don't think it works. The seconds go, but the minutes don't change. All right, so we got this for $6.99. It's brand new. I could not find that model number. Um, there is one active for 40 bucks and it's used. So I'm probably gonna go for like $99.99. Uh, this is Helmet Audio, five bucks. It's selling for about 30. Um, I suppose I can put this back in there. We got this camera here, probably a good 100 bucks or so. Usually these go decent, but I will need to order a charger for it. I got a DVD recorder remote, 199. I'm just gonna hang on to it. Polaroid camera. This should be about 30, 40 bucks on eBay. And I guess I didn't even look to see what it costs, seven. And here's the home run. This Polaroid camera, five bucks. Only one sold, but I couldn't find any actives. It sold for $110. And here's my daily pineapple. So we got a set of vintage Pyrex here. Nesting set 13 is the total. It's five, five, and three. I think I can make some in the auction on that. I'm gonna give it a okay. shot. All right, now we got this vintage knife sharpener, $3.99, selling for about 50 on eBay. It is brand new in the box. Pop it open here, maybe. Brand spanking new. Man, it's cold out there. I spent 54 bucks. A couple of those things, like the keyboard, were not for resale. That was, my other half is looking for a smaller wireless keyboard. So hopefully that works for her. It was two bucks. Um, yeah, 54 bucks, the Polaroid camera. I will make a healthy profit just on that alone. With some of the items, like the knife sharpener. I don't even remember what else I got here. The knife sharpener, the clear sounds thing maybe um we'll pay for it the video camera will be a profit you know just if you factor everything this is a really good one is what i'm trying to say let's go to the next store i'm excited about that polaroid i love selling cameras i've never seen that one before a yellow one i've got a couple of uh like holy grail polaroid cameras that i want to find like the barbie one and the pepsi one um, that one is just a regular camera. It's just a different color. It's not branded or anything. But the older version, I hate how Polaroid names their things, the 600 as opposed to the 1600, one spelled out. Um, they had a yellow one and it was called the job site camera. And that one has a little bit of value too. Um, but I've never seen, I figured when I saw that, that, that was gonna be the new version of the job site camera but it doesn't say that anywhere on there. So, next Goodwill is 16 minutes away. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the old one is the One Step 600 and the new one is just the One 600. <sighs> Why can't you just make it more simple, easier? It's very pretty out here though. You can kind of see out my side window, a lot of uh, snow covered trees.
All right, so far a couple of office phones here that should give me about 30 or 40 bucks each. And a joystick, um, I'm spending 12 dollars that's gonna sell for about 40. I think I'm gonna pass on this, but what do you guys think? It's $4.99. Let's come down here so I can open it. It's got some weight to it. It feels like decent quality, but it's missing some parts. Um, someone has one listed for 175. No solds, no other listed. There's the barcode. I'm gonna pass. What do you guys think? This is another one that's tempting. It's a Kohler soap dispenser, brand new. Um, there's the model number. Seems to be going for about 30 bucks. Interestingly, it was eight bucks wherever it was last sold, but here it's 10. All right, I'm in the city now. Gonna hit the first Goodwill that's actually in Milwaukee. A couple of years ago, I went to this Goodwill and got a lot of hate on YouTube for saying that it's in a rough area. But that Popeye is next door. Uh, the drive-through has bulletproof glass, like a bank style thing to get your food. So I think it's safe to say this is not a good area. All right, right off the bat, I got this Epson, it's a roll of paper. Uh, sold on eBay for 62, it's 10 bucks here. We got Samsung DVD recorder. Surprisingly, only 35 bucks on eBay. We want seven here. I think I'm gonna grab it anyways and try it in the auction. Thought I hit a home run here, $2.99. A new one sold for $127, that's the only sold. So I figured an easy 50 bucks, but there's used ones listed for like 20 and no solds. So I'm gonna pass. There we go, how much? Oof, $12.99 for a film camera. I was not expecting that. Uh, but if you look this up, 75 bucks. Um, there are some that sold cheaper, but a whole bunch that sold for 75. So this I'm gonna take a shot on 12.99. It's brand new. It has been opened, but everything inside is brand new. It may have been Goodwill's employees that opened it. This is the type of thing that it might be the only one in existence that's new, so it's hard to get comps, but I'm gonna list this for 199.99 take any offer north of a hundred bucks. Got this thing, Wi-Fi extender, uh, selling for about 40. And this clock radio, 499, I'm gonna list it for 30. Oh, I just learned at the last store, green is half price too, so this is gonna be 250. What is this for weird? It's a dishwasher safe keyboard. Brand new in the box, 499, selling for about 40. It's about 35 bucks or so. Uh, it's brand new. These are kind of cool. Um, they are selling for 35 plus shipping on eBay. Cost is $4.99. I'm assuming this one's the same. Yep, $4.99 each. There are no solds of Wisconsin or Minnesota though. Uh, a couple of other states. So hopefully those ones sell. I wish they had the other colors here so you make this a set. My cost is a buck fifty. Remember green's half off. Selling for about 20 on eBay. It is out of date. The $20 ones are the expired ones. I also found this selling for about $25, but there's no price tag on it. So we'll see what it ends up costing. Oop, we got Hawaii too. I hope these sell. I mean, they're weird. I think they might sell. This one, I'm not too worried if it doesn't sell. I'll hang on to that. Another one with no price tag. Uh, this is worth about $50, so we'll see how much they want for it. <laughs> these plates are kind of corny. I like them. This is kind of cool. Air Pro Hockey. A set just like this, same brand and everything sold with the box for 60 bucks. It's $6.99 here. Best part is it sold for 60 plus shipping. So yeah, I'd say this store was a pretty good one. Oh man, it's just frigid out here. All loaded up. It was 118 and some change. The label maker ended up being $2.99. The modem or router or whatever that net gear thing was, $4.99, so I bought them both. Man, I wish every store was like that one. That was a really good one. I'm hoping for at least one more store like that today, but it is, it is 3.30 and I'm a couple hours from home, so I don't know how many I'm gonna be able to hit. I got a late start this morning. So I just saw something in the middle of the road that I think I'm gonna try and grab. I don't know if I'll be able to safely get to it, so. 
Let's find out. And it's not one of the many, many Walmart carts just abandoned over here. Right there. All right, traffic started, so. Gotta wait for these cars, then I'm gonna grab that thing. So there was a lot of traffic there. And uh, there was not a parking lane or anything. It was kind of blocking what I'm assuming it was a right turn lane, I don't know. Um, but I don't know if you could see that, but it was a hand truck and pretty nice one actually. I think it got hit by a car because the platform was a little bent, but I think I can bend that back. It's probably a hundred dollar hand truck right there. We'll be using that for a while in the warehouse, I'm sure. Um, although I have a lot of them, so I might sell it. Undecided, but I will never be rich enough to not stop and pick up abandoned furniture and abandoned stuff. Although that one was in the middle of the road, so I think that just fell off of a truck. And as an added bonus, it's environmentally friendly because odds are the city would have picked it up and probably just sent it to the landfill. You never know. Maybe someone else would have picked it up. Who knows? So yeah, we've got that now. And it's just bouncing around in the back every time I hit the brakes or the gas, so that's fun. So this next store is on campus, and I really like going to this one. I tend to often find, sometimes I'll walk out with very little, but oftentimes I'm walking out with a lot. Um, but parking is terrible. There's only a handful of spots in their lot, and some of them are gonna be full of snow right now, um, unless they were able to truck it out when they plowed. Usually you have to park on the street because there's so such limited parking, and walk a little ways, and the fact that Goodwill doesn't have bags, and it's really cold outside. I felt like my fingers were gonna snap off just loading this last store into the truck. I'm not, if I can't find a parking spot, I'm just gonna move on to the next one. If you're ever in Milwaukee, right here, Oakland Euros, they are delicious. And here it is right here. Almost had to abandon it, but someone's leaving. This is the only spot you can see. There's not a lot of parking here. There, I flipped it over so it wasn't making a bunch of noise, but that's the uh, hand truck I found. All right, we got another Sony CD player here. Again, these are solid 80 bucks. This is the second Amazon Echo I saw for the same price. The last store had one too. All right, arms are full here. This game, I don't know what they're selling games for, but this is about 15. This one's about 30. This one, I should probably look this up. This used to be a decent one. I uh, got two TI-84 Pluses. Uh, I'll quick test them, assuming the batteries are any good, but they're 15 each. They should be a very quick 40 each. And I got these Eddie Bauer flannel bed sheets selling for about 40, I don't remember, either 30 or 40 bucks, price is five. All right, $1.99 for this, selling for 17 to 20. 99 cents for this, selling for about 12.99. And this is 6.99, selling for about 25. And I did look this up, one of them sold for 14.99, the black label. All right, we have three cords, a Sony cord for, I think a camcorder, an HP laptop and an LG monitor. Those are each going for 15, 20 bucks each. I'm gonna look this up and this up, but I can't believe this is out on, this, on the shelf. $4.99, it's a Garmin. These things are like 80 to 200 bucks. I think this one's gonna be closer to the 80 range. So nothing on that, I'm putting that back. But this thing's really good. Um, 30 bucks by itself, 45 with the box. I thought I had someone ha something here. Um, that's only about 30 bucks used. So this toaster used is only like 10 bucks. So not really worth anything. But it's got a gluten-free button. That's what caught my attention. Oh, right in here, 83 plus, 12.99. This is. If I remember right, like 30 bucks, that might be it. All right, so I got this bed wedge, $4.99, where's the price tag? $4.99, it's about 35 on eBay. A couple of belt buckles, this one, uh, $2.99. This one I'm keeping for myself, Fort Howard Paper in Green Bay. Uh, but Oliver, a viewer who I bumped into here, he found this one, Anheuser-Busch. It's worth about 20 bucks or so, and he said he didn't want to deal with it, so he passed it on to me. That was weird. So when I 
got here, I basically followed a lady in. She had a very distinctive hairstyle, so I, I remembered her. Or, I guess, forgot right away. But then remembered again when I left and followed her out. We were both in there the exact same amount of time. Um, so anyways, I ran into a viewer, Oliver, who he just walks up to me and says, Hey, I watch you on YouTube. This happens quite often. And I've been doing this for a long time. It never gets old. So if you ever see me out in the wild, come say hi. Even if it's not in a thrift store. Um, I look a little bit different than I used to. You know, I got the long hair, wearing different hats. So I'm surprised he recognized me. Unless he's been watching, I guess, the recent videos. But he was a little bummed out that I got the graphing calculators. He said that's the first thing he usually looks for here. Because we're right on campus. Um, the TI-83 Plus wasn't really a smoking deal. I'll make a little bit on it. I don't even know if I'll double my money after shipping and fees, but it'll sell right away. Um, maybe I'll make double exactly around that range. The TI-84 Pluses, though, those should sell really quickly, and I should make... No, they're not waiting for me. I don't think. I should make, like, 40 bucks a piece on them. So those are going to be really good. And for the 83, it didn't have a lid, the little dust cover. Every single time I get one and it doesn't work, I always save the battery cover and then the dust lid thing before I junk it. If I junk it, we sell it for like $9.99 free shipping for parts on eBay. Um, so I always have extra parts for those. That's a cool truck. Like a 1990s Dodge Dakota, early 90s. Anyways, so I've got extra parts, so I can always complete them. So that never really stops me from buying them. The lid really isn't that important. The battery cover more so is. Anyways, let's go to the next store. I'm going to skip a few because it's getting late. I need to be getting back soon, so we're going to start heading to the western suburbs. There are a couple that I like out there. Boy, if I had more time, this would be really tempting right now. So for a while, this Goodwill was my favorite one in town. The past few years, I haven't found a lot, although I haven't come here a lot. So let's see if we can find some stuff here. So right here, $2.99. This is about an $80 VCR. They also have a testing station, so I can actually test it if I can find a tape. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's open. It's completely open. Never mind. This is $1.50. Remember, green's half price, selling for about 15 bucks. We get about 25 to 30 bucks for this film camera. It's five. I thought this was cool. I don't know where they're getting that price from. Um, it looks like they covered up an old sticker that was $1.99. Um, I just want it for my own collection because I like McDonald's stuff, but there's no way I'm going to pay that much. All right, looks like it's just those three items here today. I'm gonna go get something to eat and then start making my way back. Holy cow, look at the size of this burger. It's bigger than my hand. So, my review of this place the fries kind of sucked. The burger was alright, pretty standard. Other than the fact that it was huge. I will give them this. Instead of making a burger larger by making it taller, we have to dislocate your jaw to take a bite. They made it wider, which I appreciate. The cheese curds were pretty good. The custard I didn't try, but that looked really good. And that's, I mean, this place is Murph's Frozen Custard, so the custard is probably their main thing. Would I come back? Uh, I probably wouldn't come back in my own volition unless I wanted to try the custard. If I was hanging out with some people and they wanted to come here, I wouldn't complain. So we got time for one more store. Technically we have time for more, but they kept saying over the audio system of all the other Goodwills, their brand new store in Hartford, I want to check it out. It's a new store. I've never been there. Um, and that's about 40 minutes away from here. But also, Goodwill closes at 7 now. Why does every single business close early nowadays? I remember when Goodwill was open till 9 and I was out thrifting until 9. So that's kind of a bummer. But we'll hit Hartford and that's going to be it. And I'm going to go home. All right. Last one of the day, the night. I'm excited to see what I find. Never been here before. It's a brand new one. So starting off Nighthawk router, two bucks because green tag. 
Um, worth about 25 30 It's been a while since I had a good video game score. Mario Kart for $3.99, except there's a whole bunch of them. And then the Star Wars game is brand new, selling for about 20 um, This should be, I'm just going to say Shot in the Dark, 25 to 50 It's been a while since I've looked this up. Yeah, 35 bucks or so. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven copies at 35 bucks each. I don't do public math. You do the math. I checked. They're all in there, and they're all marked $3.99. This is brand new. 20 to 25 bucks on eBay. So this is brand new, about 13 bucks. This, not brand new, is about 20. There are so many brand new TV seasons in here, but they're just not really worth a whole lot. This vintage pencil sharpener is three or 250, selling for about 25. This is kind of cool, New Glarus Brewing Company, and it's still got the tags on it. I don't know if I can really make any money on it, but it's kind of neat. So, we're a little full back here. I bet I've got $2,000 worth of stuff today, and I probably spent 400 bucks maybe. Um, total shot in the dark guesses on both of those numbers. It might be less. It might, I might be under conservatively guessing i can't think of words right now it might be more than those numbers on both accounts so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i got some work getting this stuff sorted and whatnot but it's gonna stay in here overnight i'm super excited about that mario find i you don't find video game scores like that ever anymore and the fact that they were all together like that I don't know what the story was, how they got so many, why they were priced so cheap, and why they weren't sold already, but I'm very happy about that. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, I'm trying to get to 200,000. I'm so close. So I'd appreciate it if you just subscribed. So anyways, see you next time. Stay warm.